Yeah, hello my friends, it's Roger once again, Mud Fossil University, and today we're going to go over the solar system and the incredible changes that are occurring. Now, I think I can understand this. I think I can explain every single thing in the solar system that has never been able to be explained by coming back to the fact that ether exists. It, it explains every single thing that the uh, scientists say, oh, we can't explain this. Oh, how can anybody explain that? Well, it's ex very simple to explain. As soon as you realize that we are scrubbing through negative particles called ether, which are ejected from luminous bodies like suns, they spit out these things as light, and in the, dark, in the vacuum of space, they don't have anything to collide with, so they're dark. And as soon as they hit planets and so forth, they collide with that atmosphere and they, they luminesce. And that is what they used to call it, the luminescent um, ether. It is, it, it is, it is there. It always was there. And they missed everything by, by poo-pooing it. And now we're going to find out what causes th that it's, it's bringing upon the solar system. Because ether is not a consistent product. It's not consistent throughout the universe. And I'll show you why I can say that. All right, this is a galaxy. We are in a galaxy as well. We are on one of the arms of a galaxy. Now, let's say we are on right there. Let's say that is us. Right that spot right there. When I talk about ether, I mean all of the luminescence from things. Whatever gives off a lot of luminescence will give off a lot of particles. That's just the nature of ether, it's particles. So, what's going to happen? This cluster right here is going to be giving off a lot of particles. If we are right over here, and we're being dragged through the ether, which everybody is, you see it, everybody's spinning, being dragged through the ether, and as it is, it's scrubbing against the electrons that are out here, and it scrubs, and it pushes them this way, it pushes them that way. These push them this way, and they push this way, so you end up with these bands. Now, if we are right there, and now all of a sudden we are coming into what is being pushed off of this thing, is now all of a sudden collided with this one and they push the whole mass back into us now we're in a whole new glob of ether it's no longer a, a, a very thin simple you know light breeze of ether and now it's a it's a hurricane of ether who knows what we could run into and apparently we're running into something right now that's my take now, I just want to bring one thing into to account is that it could possibly be a relationship to the Mayan calendar and they knew exactly where our positions were in space and everything about the Milky Way and their long count is a count of, of, of mythological events and understanding of sequences in, in our cosmic arena. So I'm just going to throw that out there. It has a possible understanding that we they knew we were going to be coming into this debris. Okay, this is very nicely done. It says it's uh, on YouTube. It's something is affecting the entire solar system, and it's by Nemesis Maturity. Very very nicely done. Now we're just going to watch, and uh, there's no sound. There's going to be statements made, and I will try to comment on those statements if it's necessary. Okay, here we go. As we go through this, we'll try to decide if this is something we should take seriously. And strange things, both here and outer in, in our, our solar system, not just close. They're discovering solar system and in life itself are mutating totally unpredicted ways. Something's changed. Something is different. Right, here's our solar system. The sun and the planets themselves are physically changing. And they're accelerating in this change. So are we approaching a new body of matter? Notably undergoing major changes in their atmosphere. That is exactly what you would expect if we were approaching a more globular matter. So let's start with the sun, they're saying. Right. 
right that we all know it's the center of our solar system and the life on earth came they say it came from the sun I can go along with that it's only here because of the sun if there were so no sun there'd be no life that we I can agree with that so they're just saying anything that happens there will get to us sooner or later Right. Magnetic fields changed the last hundred years of the sun, the magnetic field of the sun. All right. Now, something you want to watch there. Right. This is a study by Dr. Michael Lockwood, Rutherford Appleton Laboratories in California. He's going to try to explain what's going on. But what you're seeing here is the winds whipping past from the sun. It's not necessarily the sun's just spitting this out. That sun is moving like a rocket ship ahead of us because let me show you what what the actual effect of the solar system is. This is the true way the solar system works. We're being ripped through space by an arm of the Milky Way. The sun leads the planets. The planets follow the sun. The sun spins and crushes through the ether, ripping solar winds away from the surface of the sun, in addition to spitting out the high speed and, and um, just light, like we spit out of any kind of a light bulb or whatever. It does that too because it's been so exceedingly hot, rubbing through the ether. Now, it may have another source of internal combustion, but it will also have an enormous combustion, basically because it's ripping through this ether. It's scrubbing, it's scrubbing itself, and it's pouring off little clouds of particles from the sides as it spins into the ether. Negative particles scrubbing negative particles. Everything in the universe is coated with negative particles. There is nothing that is not coated with negative particles. Every molecule, every atom has negative particles surrounding the cores. So. These are all negatives, crushing through negatives, spinning to the right, creating the right-hand rule. Venus spins backwards enormous amounts of heat from Venus because its spin is counterclock, which is counter to the normal right-hand rule. All right, so this is the true nature of the solar system. So now let's go back to why it's changing. Okay, so now he's done a study. Let's see what he has to say. Okay, he's talking about sunspots. Overall magnetic field of the sun has become stronger by 230%. Now, what would create the magnetic field to get stronger? It would be f coming through a more intense number of magnetic particles, which is the ether. Earth's moon is growing in atmosphere. More ether, the more it would collect on the, on the moon, the more it would collect everywhere. Around the moon, there's 6,000 kilometers deep layer of natrium that wasn't there before. Natrium is sodium. All right, now, so where did all that stuff come from? Now, Mercury, unexpected polar ice, discovered along with a surprisingly strong intrinsic magnetic field. The intrinsic magnetic field is forced because of a rotating body covered with electrons, which everything is, rotating in pushing through a whole bunch of electrons, creating a magnetic field surrounding it. That's exactly what happens. Now, they can come up with all kinds of different ideas about how these things occur, but it's simple magnetism. It's, it's, it's a negative particles surrounding this and being this flowing through negative particles. All right, look at this. Venus, 2,500% increase in auroral brightness and substantive global atmospheric changes in less than 40 years. We are coming into enormous clouds of ether. 
2,500% increase auroral brightness. Auroral brightness means that as it crushes through the ether, it glows more and more. The harder the ether pushing through, the more and more glow. It's so obvious, it's unbelievable. And it's affecting everything in the solar system. So it's not just Venus, it's not just the Earth, it's not just the Sun, it's not just Mercury. It's every single thing that is being ripped through this excessive ether. Right, we have to come down, they have to come back and understand ether is real. Huge storms, disappearance of polar ice caps on, on Mars. Extreme, amount because Mars has no magnetic field to speak of. So it has nothing to uh, push these things away from it. And it's getting destroyed. All right, Jupiter, look, here's Jupiter. What's going on here? 200% increase in brightness. Exact same system. Plasma clouds. What is happening on the equator is that it's ripping through the ether, just scrubbing it. And it's creating these cloud patterns to just circle around because they're just scraping through the ether. Our, our patterns of weather are exactly the same, formed exactly the same way based on ripping through ether. It's, it, there's nothing you can do about it. It's the way it works. You see, planet's atmosphere change colors even. Hot spots have faded and flared up again. Levels have thickened and then dissolved. All while space rocks have been hurtling into the gas giant. Right, so there's more space rocks coming too. We could be entering a, a region that is just loaded with rocks. We just don't know. And nobody understands this. Because they can't, they can't understand that we're being ripped through the Milky Way. Major decrease in equatorial jet stream velocities in only 30 years accompanied by surprising surge of X-rays from the equator. Well, why would they have X-rays? More interference. Look, you see the auroras. Same thing here. Those auroras are caused by magnetic push through ether. That's what causes the big displays of, of power. You used to have a very calm atmosphere. Well, all of a sudden, look at this. We're coming into something. We're coming into something serious. And they need to take a look at that. I mean, there's not much you can do about it, but they, you know, better to understand it. Neptune, 40% increase in atmospheric brightness. Obviously, it's scrubbing through harder and harder and harder. It's very obvious what's going on, and it's distressing that they, they, they can't understand this. Well, you can see it glowing. It's just keep glowing more and more and more. 300% increase in atmospheric pressure. <laughs> so that is interesting because Pluto is on the, a, a very extreme edge and hitting things earlier than we are. It has a 300% increase in atmospheric pressure. Now, what do we have? I don't know. But we're not as far away as Pluto. So Pluto is probably catching more of this than we are earlier. That's what I would assume. Earth, substantial, obvious worldwide weather, geophysical changes. And that's true. And they, they're, they're changing fast. And I'm watching it carefully. And it is changing. So don't let anybody tell you it is not changing. All right, Earth's axis has changed. And that's likely from scrubbing into the ether as well. You're scrubbing in, it's going to twist it. It's going to change it. Extreme weather events are happening. No question about that. Dramatic increase in the rate of earthquakes. You're crushing into the ether. Again, erupting volcanoes happening more frequently. They, they, I can't really speak about that, but I, you know, I do know they are happening. Having all kinds of... Uh, Issues, you know, that's more weather related, I would believe, landslides, and that's weather related floods. But this is also the atmosphere is scrubbing through the ether, changing it in, in multiple ways. All right, and you compare it from 63 to 93 overall natural disasters, hurricanes, 410% increase. 
It's not getting better either. It's getting worse. I can tell you that right now. And because we've sucked everything out of the earth, it's not good there either. Uh, everything's going up 400% increase in that earthquake activity. And that's just in the last number of years. It's not forever now. Now you can notice it's all happening around the equator. It's all happening towards the middle of the earth. Now why is that? Because that's the section that's getting crushed harder and harder. All right, we're having all these weather patterns. This is the same spin as you see in the galaxy. That's rubbing against the ether. As that spins, it says, I'm, I'm negative electrons out here. You get that way, and it pushes it. All right, the Earth's magnetic field has been decreasing. The decrease actually began 2,000 years ago, but the rate suddenly became rapid 500 years ago. Tw now, in the last 20 years, the magnetic field has become erratic. All right, we're coming into some debris, the glowing plasma at the leading edge of our solar system increased a thousand percent at the edge, so we're just starting to come into this. All right, these things are happening fast. Scientists come to the conclusion we have moved into an area of space different, has a much higher energy level. It's dense with ether. All right, they, they understand it. They're reporting changes are being recorded in space and never been seen before. Planetary changes are happening on all levels, physical, mental, spiritual, at the same time. It seems to have impacted people in all kinds of ways, but we're definitely in a new system. All right? This increase in energy emission will change the basic nature of all matter in the solar system. I agree with everything that's been said.